That means we own. We are on. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I guess that'd be north of Austin. Yep. <laughs> Back in the day when, if you broke down in your truck or your car, you could thumb a ride and get some help. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be doing that these days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. We've got some requests there. Uh, oh, some folks listening in. Look. Tanya, tell, tell oh, the folks. from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, yeah. Virginia, Greeley, Colorado, and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Welcome. Boy, that's a spread out all yeah. over. Yes, all indeed. Over. Okay. <laughs> Larry Mayer is is tuning in. And Hello, Larry. He wants to hear a he wants to hear a real traditional country song called called Foxy Lady. We'll get <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. Foxy lady. I don't think that's the way no, that's not quite how it goes. Okay. But uh, we will we will get to that. I promise you. I'm a guy 
who likes to party It's the hour late at night Siren that's running out of gas. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> you say so. Tanya, I'm going to let you do the announcing on this. I'm not doing too good tonight, I tell you. I can do uh, it. You can do it. Well, we've got some requests up. Some, what are some of those requests you're seeing up there? Uh, Lifeguard Larry. Lifeguard um, Larry. See, uh, they want an Ernest Tubb song. I don't see Lifeguard Larry. And... Uh, I don't see lifeguard Larry on there. Oh, honey, you need you need your glasses. <laughs> uh, it says my wife thinks you're lifeguard Larry. Okay, we oh, can do that. Okay. <laughs> well, we we'll go ahead and do that old lifeguard Larry. I think I think that's your request there. And a tub. Somebody requested that too. What's that? A tub song. I said whatever tub song you want to do, Ernest Tub. Maybe you request. Did that. I request that yeah, one? I oh, I think this is. Tanya Ray Brown's request night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll pull out a special Ernest Tubb song just for you. All, all right. right, all right. But before that, we're going to do Lifeguard Larry. And wishing we were by At the, the water. By the water. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. No attention to me. Started acting faint and I a little winded. Then I saw the lifeguard dive on me. When he pulled her out, I swore that he did me. She'd have 
That's uh, that went over pretty well. We've got our table for one here, our biggest fan, Steve. Steve, how you doing? Okay, I'm, I'm okay, but you distracted me a little bit when you went in and got that chair. Yeah, just. Uh, I did the same thing earlier. Uh, just wait till the end of the song next time, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot, a lot better. Well, we've got a. We've got a we got a turn away crowd here. We just turned Steve away. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to answer some more of these requests here. This one, uh, this one did real well for us uh, several years ago. And we hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's good to see you, baby. It's been a long, long while. We both a whole lot of Since the gold days, you've been in some trouble since we went our separate ways. Well, I have to say hello, maybe some other time instead. Cause you wanted by the police, and my wife thinks you'd dead. Somebody spread the rumor that you had lost your life. Yeah. 
you're crazy in your head Cause you wanted by the police And my wife thinks you're dead Nobody knew what happened where you've been for all these years. I doubled what you're looking like, the trouble where you've been. And I can see that kind of trouble you could get me in. You better pay attention to every word I say, cause you wanna buy the police. And my wife thinks you do. some merchandise if you want to go to juniorbrown.com slash shop you can get any of these t-shirts uh the junior down on the end where the little get steel is the u isn't that cute and then the one with the get steel on it and this is the cover of guitar player magazine some odd years ago and then we have the junior brown an american original so go to juniorbrown.com slash shop matt will put it up on the uh, screen on the in the chat and go there and order something. Yeah, bring lots of money. Speaking of money, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about time to let the folks know we are playing for gratuities. That means donations, and we appreciate all your kind donations to our electronic tip jar that you can that you can muster up. This is. Uh, you can do it through PayPal, Venmo, or YouTube Super Chat. So uh, you if, if you have any trouble with doing that, our trusty producer of this program, who we couldn't, couldn't live without at this point, Matt Riney, will guide you through any procedure that you need to be walked through in order to make that happen. So we do appreciate it. Well, you were uh, wanting to hear an Ernest Tubb song. All right. Oh, this is one that I... What are you going to do I'm, for me? <clears throat> <I'm> <laughs> Knock it off! <laughs> there, there. Okay. Uh, Have a little noise over there. Okay, this is one that I haven't done in many years. And... Uh, it's a good one too. I think it. I think you'll enjoy it. it goes, it's an old one of the older Ernest Tubb songs uh, that uh, most folks might not be familiar with, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Gone was my 
chair and everything else but uh we managed to get through it uh would you like to say a couple more words a couple I, more words while i run up front and make sure everything's okay no everything's fine <laughs> everything's fine uh, okay. everything's good yeah somebody has request oh it's luminous grin welcome luminous he has requested darling i'll do anything you say do that? Yeah. Uh, let's do that in just a minute. Okay. We're going to take a little break right now. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Method to my mess when I'm putting your hands. Cause I want a little sugar, so your wish is my command. I'll let you win, so I won't lose, and let you get away. And darling, I'll do anything you say. Say 
it's okay Luminous, and uh, hope you enjoyed that as we much did. as much as I enjoyed attempting oh, it was to good. play it with all the distractions we're having here tonight. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> about you sing one? What do you want to sing? Oh, what I'm do so, I want to sing? I'm so mad right now, I just want to... <laughs> okay, well, let's don't do that. Chase let's, somebody uh, down. Let's uh, but, do... Uh, cause some trouble here at... Handyman, come on. Let's do it. Troublemaker here at the mall. Security! Okay. <laughs> I think let's the, do it. I think the danger is past, but I'm still kind of... Come on. You You're, know how that is. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, handyman. Oh, you want to do the handyman? <coughs> All right. What do you think? Tanya Ray Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Let's listen to that applause.
Randy Mann. Good job, Tanya Ray. I'm sure the folks enjoyed that. Yeah, that was a good, <laughs> good song we came up with one, one rainy afternoon. And, uh, of course, that's going to be on our upcoming record as well uh, called His and Hers. That's going to be the record will be featuring 15 songs of ours, along with several duets. And Tanya sings some of them, I sing some of them, and then we do some duets as well. So that'll be out sometime this summer, uh, we're looking at. Uh, and the album's almost finished up now. We're getting ready to make another trip down to Texas to finish up the recording of it. And we're really excited about it, and we hope you folks will, will pick it up when it comes out. All right, a big thank you to Tom Stevenson. He wants to hear you sing another one. He wants some attention bad. <laughs> Would you like to do that right now? No, we'll do it here in a minute. Here in a minute, she yeah. says. Well, don't keep him waiting too long. He's wanting some attention. <laughs> but a big thank you to, to Tom uh, for your kind generosity as well as all the folks who are <coughs> generously tipping our, tipping our electronic tip jar. Oh, you want to do it now? I, th I think we should. Yes, indeed. Not too slow now. I took you to the station to leave on your vacation. And ever since that day, I've been sad. The days and nights are lonely. Been thinking of you only I need attention, babe It's your loving I'm a missing I need a little kissing Why just to hold you close would make me glad I need my arms about you I can't live without you I need attention, babe Speedy Sparks would say, I need some tension bad. <laughs> oh, we got all the tension we need, I tell you. We don't need any more of that. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad that Tom uh, requested that. that. That's a good one. All right. Well, let's see what else we got up on the old board there. Oh, my goodness. What do you want? I was born. In the country, I was born way out in the country. Oh, 
Twenty some odd years ago, I left home for the very first time. When I was four years old, I'm a free born man. My home was on my back. I was a rich highway. Every foot of back road on my railroad track. Dirty little toe sang. some of my pent-up aggression on that. <laughs> yeah, folks, James yeah, Mobley. they're wondering why I'm so upset. James Mobley. It's okay. Nobody cares. James Mobley. <laughs> he oh, requested James. Freeborn Man. Yes, they care. They want to no, hear. No, they don't. No, we don't. Let's someone move on. Was in here Moving right along. Someone was in here throwing, That's okay. That's all right. throwing chairs around, I, and I'm upset about it. I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll kiss you to make it Stop. all better. 
<laughs> Tell you what, in the spirit of forgiveness, let's forgive the chair thrower. Ring and old ring of the cowbell for the <laughs> guy who threw the chair. Okay. Mr. Oh, Chairman? That's a good one's up there. Mr. For Chairman? <laughs> Is there some good ones up there? Yeah, good requests. Let me hear that again. All right, well, yeah, there's a few good ones up there. Got a lot to choose from. All right, and uh, looks like I wrote most of them, so uh, <laughs> that's always a good sign. How about Venom wearing denim? What do you think? She's just Venom wearing denim. She's a viper dressed in blue. Tight fitting jeans are all she needs to put the bite on you. She's pretty, but she's poison like a copper headed queen. She just venom wearing denim. She's a nightmare, not a dream. She slithers when she walks, and there's no telling where she's been. She coil up beside you, trying to shed her denim skin. Once she strikes a deadly bite, there's no antidote. She's just venom wearing denim, boy. She go right for your throat. Wearing denim, she's a viper dressed in blue. Tight fitting jeans are all she needs to put the bite on you. She's pretty, but she's poison like a copper pretty queen. She just venom wearing denim, she's a nightmare, not a dream. Start hissing when she's kissing, saying you're the only one. She'll tell you lies with beady eyes and a big long forked tongue. If you give that gal a diamond ring, you get a diamond back. She's just venom wearing denim, boy. She's always making tracks. She's just venom wearing denim. She's a jeans are all she needs to put the bite on you. She's pretty, but she's poison like a copper-headed queen. She's just been on wearing denim. She's a nightmare, not a dream. She's just been request she's just venom wearing <laughs> denim oh, that was for jason yeah. carter oh it was jason yeah. carter i wonder if that's the same jason carter that's a fiddle player you never know <laughs> let us know jason if you're a fiddle player <laughs> good fiddler too it's the, it's the same jason carter i remember okay let's go ahead and Take it down a few notches, and uh, how about let's go ahead and take it over to Hawaii with one called Beyond the Reef, all right?
<laughs> Panhandle Rag. <coughs> had uh, Beyond the Reef and Panhandle Rag. A couple of steel guitar instrumentals. Okay, well, that's, we've got, we've got, oh, request for Better Call Saul from M10 Guy. <laughs> M10 Guy, well, we, uh, we aim to please, and uh, we thank you for, for your donation to our tip jar. We appreciate that a lot. This was, uh, this was a song that had five verses in it, and it was written by Vince Gilligan, the guy who, uh, the producer of the show, Better Call Saul. And, uh, and I had worked with him uh, on a show called The X-Files uh, many years before uh, Better Call Saul came out. And uh, I had played a little cameo in there, you know, uh, played a, a farmer with some explosive uh, fertilizer. fertilizer, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I know there's a joke there somewhere, but I won't, I won't go for the obvious. And, uh, <clears throat> and so uh, he called me up and said, why don't you do a, a promotional video for this song promoting the show Better Call Saul. So it was a, a song that he'd written. As I said, it had five verses to it, and I think I can remember two of them, but it uh, goes something like this right here. You drink one, drink two, drink three Long Island iced teas. Put your buddies worse off and he throws you his car keys. Blue lights start blinking three o'clock in the morn. State trooper makes you wish that you'd never been born. Better call Saul, you better call Saul. You wanna tell the world that you're in love with a girl named Fran? So you find an overpass and you say it with a spray paint can. Blue lights start blinking, those handcuffs click. Only one gotta go, man, you better call quick. Better call Saul, you better call Saul. Saul, Saul, you better call Saul. You fight for your rights with your backs to the wall. Stick it to the man, justice for all. You better call Saul. Saul, he'll solve your problem. Saul, I got. It's all I remember. <laughs> you better go, Saul. There it is. All right. I hope you enjoyed what there was of that <laughs> M10 guy. Sounds like maybe he's seen that, uh, that video that we did for that show. All right. Okay. Well, what do you think, Tanya? What do you think we ought to do next here? Well... There Let's see, was there's, there's Too Many some, Nights in a Roadhouse was on yeah, there. Yeah, there were some other requests that are at the bottom of the... Kind of need to scroll up on that a little bit so we can see. Request for the song. This is one of my. This is a flip side of my first little record. A little record with a big hole in the middle. Forty-five RPM. That's right. On the Dynamic Record Label, out of Austin, Texas. And I had written this song. Oh, it was several years prior to recording it, and uh, sitting in a parking lot of a of a beer joint up there in Colorado and uh, took out a pen and uh, wrote this song. Hope you enjoy it. Too many nights in a roadhouse, too much of wine, a woman in song. Running with my buddy, 
ladies on the wild side. They got a nice like, you know, Out on the line with the old house guard. Now I'm down to my last two bucks. I'm pushing way too hard. I'm trying to live too fast. But I do know that goes on. Too many nights in the roadhouse. They're going a little bit more long. Too many nights in the roadhouse. Too much of wine. Days on the highway. Take a good look in the mirror. In the cold day, you got a gun. Too many nights in the roadhouse. I run a little bit of a run. You take the blues from around when the sun went down, and my day didn't fare too well. I sure didn't want a taste of the good life till the good Lord came along. He said, Too many nights in a roadhouse, boy, you're gonna let it get go wrong. Too many nights in a roadhouse, too much of that. Run a little good boy Too many nights in a roadhouse I run a little good boy <laughs> Too many nights Too many nights at so-and-so's house <laughs> And the, again, a Speedy Sparks reference there. <laughs> he had he kind of had a pseudonym, an alternate title for everything I did. That <laughs> <laughs> was for Jacob Hurd. Jacob Hurd. All right. Hope you enjoyed that, Jacob. Yeah. We've survived the storms of life through all kinds of weather and days close. It's two sweethearts could be. But we're a husband and a wife who can't be together when there's a thousand miles distance between. Like 
Staying out so late, I gotta get up every morning just to say goodnight to you. Just to say goodnight. Just to say goodnight to you. <laughs> Gotta get up every morning just to say goodnight to you. That was the flip side of that 45 RPM record that I told you about a minute ago, Too Many Nights in a Roadhouse. That was the flip side. That was actually the A side of the record. Too Many Nights was the B side. But besides that, 
That was a good good record for me. It kind of kind of got me. Uh, I won't say it took me off hamburger and put me on steak, but <laughs> it got me a little bit of attention around the Austin area and uh, and elsewhere. And uh, it's kind of a funny story about that. The uh, want to thank everybody for your your kind tips that you've been sending in. We do appreciate those tips to our to our electronic tip jar on Venmo and PayPal and uh, YouTube super chat. We couldn't live without it. Puts food on the table for us and gas in the in the gas tank. And uh, we do do appreciate your kind generosity. Thank you so much again. But I was going to tell you a little funny story about that. Uh, Speedy Sparks and uh, and his partner uh, in the uh, in the record business. He had a partner in Dynamic Records. It was the two guys together, uh, Dudley Harmon and Speedy. And uh, they were uh, when Dudley kind of came in as a partner. Uh, he had a bunch of ideas about how he wanted to, you know, take it out of the uh, first and Red River area of where Speedy lived and really, really make it a corporate venture, you know. But it was Speedy's living room, basically, is where, <laughs> where all the business of the uh, record company got done, so-called record company. But um, it was a lot of fun, you know. We'd, they'd make those 45 records and they'd send them down to, uh, the, the masters down to Joey Records in San Antonio, which was a, a pretty pretty old-timey type record company and they'd send back the 45s and they'd, you know the the hole would be a little off or the label or something <laughs> you'd see it kind of swiveling around on, on the on the machine you know on the the turntable your eyes would be like, like wow 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 and uh they got the bright idea to uh send this record to all kinds of places to see what would happen and one of the places they sent the record to was, and I had no idea they were doing this, or I would have never, never gone for it. But um, they sent it to a, a television show that was on, at that time, it was on the Nashville Network, which had, was a cable show, TNN. Uh, and that had just started, and they had a show on, they had all kinds of wild shows on there, um, just kind of, you know, when you start a, when you start a thing like that, you're, you're trying to fill it up with any mm -hmm. kind of shows you can. Mm -hmm. And they had one on there called You Can Be a Star. Oh, I remember that. Do you that. remember that? Yes, and it, I remember that. And they would have these people auditioning, to, you know, to see it. It's kind of like what they have now with the, um, yeah, what's the, the one? Yeah, voice and, uh, um, oh, what is it? I don't know. The one where they, yeah. they get up there and then they tell them how terrible or how great they are. Um, what is there's two shows like I know, that now. I can't remember. Um, anyway, um, I don't watch TV, so yeah, I certainly don't watch that. America's Got Talent is there one of go. them. Thank That's you, Matt. Um, and <laughs> they sent back a letter and they said, "I'm sorry, this record does not meet our standards <laughs> <laughs> for country music or whatever it was." And the funny thing about it is. Somebody had done the same thing for Randy Travis. Randy Travis had, had auditioned for yeah. You Can Be a Star, and they turned him down, too. So uh, <laughs> I didn't feel so bad. But I found out about it much later. I said, why in the world did you do that? I am not into a talent contest. <laughs> I, I, I am not doing the kind of music that would compete with what Nashville was doing at oh, the time, Oh, and you remember obviously. here just a few months ago, we had a guy from one of those shows. Is there another one, Matt, besides America's Got Talent? Uh, but they wanted to know if you wanted to audition for it. No, you're kidding me. <laughs> I am not kidding you. Do they know said, I'm almost 70 years old? <laughs> that's what I was wondering. I thought, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I think there's, uh, okay. there needs to be a new law, I think. You have to be almost 70 years old to play country music. It's, otherwise, <laughs> you, you, you won't remember what it's all about. Yeah, yeah I know. there are many of those shows now, Matt says. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well... Anyway, let's get to the other request here. I've been meaning to do, and this one was real good for me. Didn't win me any contests, but... But it did go to number one on TNN. 
Yeah, I had two number one videos on, on TNN uh, back when videos were just kind of starting. The music video thing was, was a new thing. And they had a chart. They had a chart for, for uh, you know, just like the record chart. And this is one that, this is one in My Wife Thinks You're Dead also went to number one on, on TNN. So, so I owe TNN a little bit. They'd send me some plaques and things to put up on the, remember, put up on the wall. And uh, so I kind of miss the old, the Nashville network. We used to watch old TV yes, shows. Uh, Country Standard Country Time. Sta that was, was that fun. it? Yeah, the old, yeah. Uh, old clips of, of oh, old 60s, uh, 60s and early 70s yeah. uh, television shows. They would replay them in the 90s. Uh, do you still have all those? And we're still, well, we look at the 90s that we like do? that's modern, modern times, right? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> 90s was a long time ago. We still have those VHS uh, yeah. tapes that we Some, recorded I, them. Somewhere we in the, I've got in an the old basement. TV that we can play them on. Yeah, <laughs> an old uh, VHS yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, here it is. I think this was the first one that went number one. On the videos, yeah. I got a star on my car and a one on my chest. A gun on my hip and the right to arrest. I'm a guy who's a boss on this highway. So watch out what you're doing when you're driving my way. If you break the law, you hear from me, I know. I'm working for the state, I'm the highway patrol. You see me cause my door is painted white With my siren a screaming and my flashing red light I work all day and I work all night Just to keep it long over time I do what's right If I write you out a ticket Then you better drive slow I'm just doing my job on the highway patrol I'm the highway patrol The highway patrol I'm just a doing my job on the highway patrol. Too fast like you shouldn't be. You can bet your boots I'm coming out to you. If you want to race and get on the racetrack, or if you try to run away, I'm gonna bring you back. I'm here to keep all the speed of driving me slow. Just to do my job on the highway patrol. I'm the highway patrol, the highway patrol. Now along and my pay is low. I'll do my best to keep you driving slow. I'm just a doing my job on the highway patrol. I'm just a doing my job on the highway patrol.
West. I'm the Highway Patrol, written by Red Simpson, Dennis Payne, and Rush. Ray Rush. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you primed me on that. I'm a little slow with the name sometime, and we just lost Dennis Payne a couple weeks ago, and... Uh, Kind of let's dedicate that to Dennis's memory. He was a great writer. Okay, what else we got on the board here? Still Life with Rose? No, that's too much like the last one. Oscar Meyer wanted to hear that. No, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm sure he's heard that enough times. Just like I heard my uh, people making fun of my name when I was little and I hated it. Still not too crazy about it. <laughs> uh, when I was young, when I was young, uh, you know, my name's Jameson Brown. That's my full name, Jameson Brown. So they called me, called me Jamie. Jamie Brown, say, Jamie yeah. Brown. And then they say, <laughs> hey, James Brown, come on. Hey, James. <laughs> and uh, I like James Brown. So, I did, you know, it wasn't any put down for me, but, you know, it was just. Constantly, constantly. Well, you should have had a last name like mine, my maiden name. Which was? Raspberry. Did you get razzed a lot, raspberry? Yeah, especially when we went out on the basketball court and they'd, you know, number 20, Tanya Raspberry, and the other team would go, <laughs> like that, <laughs> until they saw me play. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were, you, you weren't taking, you weren't taking any names, or you were taking names. I, yeah, I was kicking butt and taking K names. Kicking butt and taking <laughs> names, that's right, well. I remember seeing all those pictures of you, you know, when you were in your high school basketball years, and you'd see all the, you'd see all the, the basketball players, all the girls' basketball team, they're all like, and here's Tanya. It's like super achiever, right? Radiant, Tanya Radiant. Oh, stop. Yeah, that's where she got that. I was that exuberant. Name. Tanya, yeah, but that's Tanya Radiant Brown. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh, raspberry at the time, of course. All right. Well, yeah, I'm going to do Foxy Lady for Larry May here, but I'm going to. Okay, we've had a, a question that somebody asked. Do I know the story behind the Highway Patrol song? Not really. Um, I can tell you the story of, you know, how I came up with it, but. That's not too interesting. I don't know how they were they 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 were doing. Red Simpson was doing an album of uh, it was a theme album of uh, police themed songs um, called "Man Behind the Badge," and he was well known for his truck driving songs. So it wasn't much of a jump for him to do a a, a police theme thing. Uh, the one, the ones who pull over the truckers, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, and they got together and wrote the song. I really don't know much more about it than that. When I, when I heard it, I got the album, uh, or I think it was, yeah, I got a tape, and I was trying to learn Nitro Express, which later on, a few years later, I had actually got to record with Red Simpson. There's a, uh, there's a version of, uh, and then we've done it on this show. A version of Red and I singing his big hit, the Nitro Express, about truck driver hauling a load of nitro, and uh, and the nervousness involved with that. Uh, and I was I was really good. you can I guess you can what Google that and, and hear oh, sure, it. I'm sure yeah, you can Junior that. Brown, uh, Red Red Simpson, Junior Brown, uh, Nitro Express. It came out really good, but um, and of course Red and I uh, did one of the songs I wrote from my Semi Crazy album. It was a song called Semi Crazy. A uh, little duet with Red on that. But um, when I was listening, I, I, a guy made me a tape of a bunch of Red Simpson stuff. And I was looking for Nitro Express because I wanted to learn it. And Highway Patrol was on it. That, the, the Man Behind the Badge album uh, was, on, was part of this tape that he'd made me. Um, a whole, whole bunch of Red Simpson stuff. So it wasn't on that album, 
uh, man behind the badge, but Highway Patrol. And as soon as I heard Highway Patrol, I thought, man, what a great song. And I started started singing it, and it just, just people just liked it. I don't know. They, uh, it's um, it's one of those songs where it's like, is, you know, is he does he really like cops that much, <laughs> or is he messing with me? Type of thing, you know. I had a I had some. And, and of course, it's you know it, it's a tribute to to, to police, uh, highway patrol folks, and you know they're blue collar. They have a tough job, just like everybody does. But uh, I had a guy come up to me one time, you know, and he, he uh, I think he gave me a, one of those trooper hats, one of those it looks like a Smokey the Bear mm-hmm, hat, mm-hmm. really expensive, brand new hat, you know, and and he said he looked at me and said. Now, I don't know if you're messing with me, kidding around with that song, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe that you're serious with it, and I'm gonna give you this hat. <laughs> so he kind of, he's got a little suspicious. Like, does this guy really want to pay tribute to the cops? And uh, and uh, and of course I do, because they they're hardworking folks, just like the truck drivers and all the other drivers out there. Okay, so what do we got? Oh. That's, yeah, that's the only story I know about it. Nathan, thank you again for your kind donations to our electronic tip jar. And we're going to answer a, we're going to answer a request from Nathan Ramon. Good to, good to have you back on the show, uh, Nathan. Uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and do that for you. It went off our first album, Hillbilly Hooligal. <laughs> Out in the island with the coconut trees, the pearly shells on the top of the breeze. There's a hillbilly gal from Tennessee, a hillbilly hula gal. She had enough of the hills and me, so she's taking hula lessons in Waikiki. I guess she's right where she wants to be, my hillbilly hula gal. Now she's dancing with wahinis in the island, now. trying to do the hula, but she don't know how. She got the pineapples in her own corral. She feed them bits and gravy at the old eye. The blue grass hills and the mountain dew. And wait till she leaves Honolulu. She better come home like she's supposed to do. My hillbilly hula gal. Looks twice as good in a little grass skirt as a little rose in a tore up shirt. Corn and crow in a lava dirt. My hillbilly hula gal. The smiles on the faces of the island boys. Cause a southern dog gets a picking joy. She can't chin butter when she dipping that poi. My hillbilly hula gal. Now she never used to give a hoot. For coconuts or taro root. She's a country girl living in the islands now. She's trying to get the hula girls to show her how. When she gets through with her fantasies, she come on back to Tennessee. Back with me where she's supposed to be. My hillbilly hula gal. My hillbilly hula gal. My hillbilly hula girl, <laughs> gal. Yeah. Aloha. Thank you, Nathan Ramon. That's what you'd say. Aloha, darling. Uh, darling. Yeah. That's, well, that's the hillbilly part. <laughs> and the aloha is the, never mind. We got it. Uh, yeah. I think, <laughs> I 
I think we got it whether we want it or not. Okay. Five minutes. Oh, my goodness. Well, we did Venom wearing denim for Jason <laughs> Carter, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Joe, the singing janitor, I, and, and uh, we're going to do Still Life with Rose for Oscar Mayer. Uh, Oscar Mayer. I bet, you, I bet you he likes to be called Oscar Mayer. You heard about the singing brakeman. You might have seen a singing cowboy too. Well, I'm Joe, the singing janitor. I met a theater near you. I'll also be appearing at the concert you'll be hearing, but I won't be singing with a band. I'm Joe, the singing janitor. Cleaning up for the folks getting by. Best I can. I'm in your school room, your pool room, your office, and your home. And I always give you a service with a smile. Most folks never think that a janitor needs a little kindness once in a while. Oh, well, I really don't care if you think I'm a square from my hat down to my shoes. I'm Joe the singing janitor. Go easy on a guy trying to make life easy for you. Well, the school kids like to have a laugh on me with their spitballs and chewing gum mess. Making fun of my cornball singing voice in the real square where I dress. I'm gonna sing a song in the principal's office so they better respect the old man. I'm Joe, the singing janitor. Working hard for the kids, getting by the best I can. Well, if a broomstick was a microphone, I could show you all a thing or two. I ain't on the stage, just a dirty old floor, and I got a lot of work to do. I can't carry a tune in a bucket, but I carry that bucket with pride. I'm Joe, the singing janitor. I'm the man behind the mop, I make everything sparkle and shine. I'm in your school with your pool, pop the senior home. I always give you service with a smile. Most folks never think that a janitor needs a little kindness once in a while. I really don't care if you think I'm a square, put my hat down on my shoes. The singing janitor. So go easy on a guy trying to make life easy for you. Yeah, go easy on a guy trying to make life easy for you. Joe, the singing, swinging janitor. <coughs> there it is. Trust me, oh my goodness, I, I, I did write that, but I don't always remember the ones I write, and that's, that's one I don't remember. I remember when I do that song live, uh, man, I did all kinds of crazy stuff in there. I did, I think I did a Bill Clinton impersonation. I did not have, I can't do it anymore. Saxophone. Probably just, just as well. <laughs> yeah. I did not have saxophone relations with that woman. Whatever. It was funny at the time. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to do Still Life with Rose and then take it out of here with our closing music. Oscar? Oh, we got to. Yeah, we got to do that too. Let's, let's go ahead and do the, the Foxy thing first. Well, you know you're just a sweet little heartbreaker. And you know you just... No, 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 no. Foxy. 
lady and then some <laughs> oh well I hope you enjoyed that it was a lot of letting off a lot of steam like down See what we're doing behind the Oh. <laughs> okay. Who is that masked man? <laughs> there, we there we are again. Hey. Oh, goodness gracious. I have more to say. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, I guess that's. I think a, we were the, at the end. <laughs> we were at the end of the show. Oh, but, let's. Uh, um, Let's tell them that uh, oh, yeah. we won't be back until May 15th. May so, 15th. So, yes. yeah. So, please tip us very heavily right now. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. All the folks that have been sending in the yeah, tips to us. Yeah, we appreciate it. And, but we uh, have to take time out to go see our littlest grandbabies. Yeah. We haven't seen them in forever. So, we will be back uh, when? May 15th. Saturday night. Sir, Saturday, Saturday night, Saturday May fifteenth. So what? Uh, how many? How many days? How many Wednesdays Not, and and Well, we won't Saturdays. be here this coming Wednesday or next Saturday or okay. the following Wednesday. So we're going to miss three shows. Okay. And we'll be back May fifteenth. Well, maybe that'll just make. Okay. So thanks again, folks. We've really appreciated you. Uh, as I said, donating to our tip jar. And, uh, and we're going to take it out of here with a little instrumental hang thing called Peeling Taters. How about that? Junior Brown, Tanya Ray Brown, signing off.